weekend, though, is a big... Obviously, yourselves have got a game first, but Arsenal take on Liverpool. How do you see that one going? Like, legitimately, because Arsenal just looked again at the weekend almost flawless. Their confidence is high. And Liverpool right now are shit. They're absolutely... Yes, well, look, you, you, hit the nail on the, you hit the nail on the head because every Arsenal fan was expecting Liverpool to get some at the Etihad. They all said, this is the one, Liverpool, tough game for City. We jumped the hurdle, great. Every Manchester City fan is expecting Liverpool to get some at Anfield against Arsenal. It's Liverpool at Anfield are different. They're a little bit different, we know that. We're just hoping that that Liverpool turns up. But looking at the last two games, looking at the way Arsenal are playing, Arsenal never have a better chance of beating Liverpool than they have at weekend. Mm. In my, I hope and pray they don't. I'm in a title race with Arsenal. Obviously, I want Man City to win it. I need Arsenal to drop points. Um, I don't. I wouldn't even like to call it. I don't. I think Liverpool have got. To, they've got to have a reaction. The fans demand it. They've had two away games. They've stunk the joint out. They're going to Anfield against the top of the league. It's perfect Anfield time. The crowd's going to be up. And 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 that one thing about the Anfield crowd is, I've come to Anfield. Me. Man City have been on razor sharp form. Never in a million years did I think we get beat. They've absolutely tore the arse off us because that crowd is different there. There's a reason why Mikel Arteta had speakers on the training ground playing You'll Never Walk Alone. Yeah. So that tells you everything he thinks about um, Anfield. So I'm hoping the Anfield magic kicks in and I'm out, I hope Arsenal have a bump in the road and let us back in the title race. But I believe if Arsenal win there, pfft, Unbelievable result for them, and I think that sends them into the stratosphere. Then I think it's going to be hard. Yeah, I, I listen. That Liverpool, Liverpool's crowd's a weird one. As United fans will always say, the Anfield atmosphere is a myth. From the point of view of when it's hot, it's red hot, white hot almost. And some of those European nights under the lights. Whenever Man United go there, when you guys have gone there in recent years, it's 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 on fire. But there's lots of weeks where it just isn't like that. And it's almost a case of yeah. it almost gets overplayed. Like it, it gets overplayed by the media. Like it's almost like that in every game when it isn't. If they're up for it this weekend in that way and their players respond, they can definitely beat Arsenal. I don't think anybody would deny that. It's, it's, it's beyond doable. However, this Arsenal team just, feel, I feel like they're just almost invincible right now. There is, after you beat them, they drop points to Brentford. And they lost to Everton before that. Those comebacks and everything else. They've kind of come through that period, their last three games. And I know that Fulham and Palace and Leeds are not better than Liverpool. Although those teams have taken points off of Liverpool this year. But they've just brushed them aside with absolute ease. And I almost feel this could be a signature victory in the season for Arsenal if they're able to win it. If they're able to pull this off and win this game, Arsenal, I think the confidence and the sort of the, the galvanisation of their mentality to another level to go, right, that's one of our hoodoo grounds, a place we haven't won at for 30, 11 years. We're in a title race. I think that could be almost the, 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 that, yeah, the straw that breaks the camel's back in terms of yourselves being able to catch them because they've got, there's no games after that that are as hard, barring going to you. But I think they'll feel confident they're going to go into that with an insurance policy of having a points gap over you. And I think it will give them more belief in beating you because you'll need to beat them because you'll have to catch the points. You're going to go for it. And they've already beaten a team away from home that they never beat. Doesn't mean they'll beat you either. That's another conversation for another day. But it's, it's such a big game for the title race, for, for Liverpool season. And I honestly hope, just as a Man United fan, I hope that Arsenal, you know I want Arsenal to win the league because I don't want you man doing a free peat. And I definitely don't, don't, don't want you to do uh, he who must not be named and do the treble this year. Like I need Arsenal to stop you from doing that. But equally, I want Jurgen Klopp and Liverpool's season finished. I want it ended. I want them to be absolutely and fundamentally embarrassed by their campaign. And I think Arsenal can be that final nail in the coffin on Sunday. They can bury them after cremating them. And I also hope to see, and I've said this a few times this week, I hope to see a public circumcision of Martinelli versus Trent on that right-hand side because... The man that re, re, uh, reinvented the right back role is having the worst season I've ever seen from a right top right back in the Premier League, and I want him to get cooked up this weekend by Arsenal. I'm I'm desperate for it. 
I am desperate for it. I can't wait. I've said all that now, though, and Liverpool might win 3-0. <laughs> I hope so. <laughs> I, bet, I, bet you, I bet you do. It's, um, it's, it's a weird one. It's such a hard one to call, as you say, though, isn't it? Yeah, it is. It is. It's, um, like I say, they're, going in, they're, they're in such good form. They're, 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 they're on top of the league for a reason, because they deserve it. Um, they've got a great young squad, full of energy, exactly what Liverpool don't uh, need right now. Gabriel Jesus up against them too. They don't need it. They do not need it, let me tell you. And um, yeah, Arsenal just got to hold the nerve. They've got to ride the luck and they've got to be brave to get the result. If they don't, and their arse is gold and the Anfield crowd gets a grip of them, it's going to be Pete. So listen, I mean, I'm, I'm really looking forward to this weekend. I'm going to Southampton. I'm taking my sons, going Friday. I'm going to have a couple of nights down there. And we'll probably be driving back when um, they kick off. So I'll listen to it on the radio. But um, yeah, this is what it's about. Business end of the season. We said it. Big weekend of football. Arsenal at Liverpool. Man City at Southampton. Bear in mind, we, we, we've had some bad results at Southampton over the last few years as well. So that's not a walk in the park. And um, yeah, it could look different by Sunday night. Or it could be looking peak. Yeah, it could be very, very interesting. And uh, Guna Duke here says, uh, I still don't think you can underestimate Paul at Anfield, even uh, in a poor season. Boys need to be focused and switched on. That's 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 spot on. Uh, again, as much as I want Arsenal to do it, and I believe they can, this is, this is not an easy game. And I said this to Man United fans in the build-up to us going there. There was too much complacency from our fans. And I truly believe that fans' behaviour seeps into dressing rooms because all the players are on social media. They're all reading. They all see what's going on. And Arsenal need to be almost put in vicious pressure, vicious pressure upon their squad this week to ensure that they're not going into this game thinking it's already won, thinking it's going to be easy. Because you do that against Liverpool and they can slap you still. Because, there's, like I said earlier, they're still top quality players in this Liverpool team. Klopp just doesn't get it out of them enough. But a game like this at the weekend, it could, it could bring it out of them all, like, organically, if that makes sense. It, 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 it really could. We have a super chat that says, Terry, if Arsenal lose at Anfield, should Arteta be condemned if he loses the league against this weak Liverpool? No, Liverpool at Anfield are different. I've told you that. I've seen it myself. I've seen it myself. It's a place where mad shit can happen, where you, you think, yeah, we're on it here. And then bang, 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 two minutes, madness, game over. Mate, I, I, I totally agree. What do you make of the Liverpool fans this week? You must have seen the clips kind of calling Arsenal season a fluke season. Um, yeah. uh, you know, did you, did you see Ian Doyle's article where he spoke about how Arsenal are only top this year because everybody's taking it easy against them? Listen, when you're top, you, you've got to put up with this shit. I've had it for the last five years from press, YouTubers who you haven't got a fucking clue who they are, people talk <laughs> nonsense because you're top of the league. And everyone wants to be top of the league and everyone's envious and jealous. So at the end of the day, Arsenal deserve to be top of the league because they're the best team in England right now. At the end of the day, the points total doesn't lie. They're playing the best football. They're not fluking games and bundling it over the line 1-0 and getting hitting off people's asses and flying in and, and, and all that. None of that. They're literally doing what they're doing. And it's absolutely come at a mad shot to everyone. So I get why some of the bigger teams are a bit you know, flustered by it and a bit like, oh, well, because they fell off this, that and the other. No. Has there been a drop-off in other teams? Yeah, of course he has. But the points don't lie. They've gone to these places under pressure. People said, oh, they're going to lose here. They haven't. They're going to slip up after the World Cup. They didn't. Oh, Jesus is out. They're going to lose points. They didn't. So, listen, Arsenal are doing their thing. They're top of the league. We're doing our thing. We're second. And come May, end of May, we'll see who the best team really is. Yeah, mate, I, I agree. And listen, a lot of people will... I mean, I'll get a lot of shit if Arsenal don't win it because I predicted them to. Predictions are predictions, but then there's bad punditry. I said earlier, the way the way Gary Neville's kind of played Arsenal down annoys me. And I love Gary Neville. He's a legend of my football club. There's so much about him as a person. You know, the, what he does societal-wise. Doesn't always get things right the way he tweaks things, but he, he does. he's done a lot of good in Manchester, you know, in, in terms of things that he's done. And he's a mm. really good guy, gen, generally speaking. But I don't... I don't know. I, I, YouTubers can be YouTubers. TikTok, TikTokers can be TikTokers. But I want pundits to be integral. And I, I, sometimes their agendas, uh, you know, I think his agenda against Arsenal has run a little too deep. It's only a few weeks ago he was saying they're conceding too many goals when they hit the last 10, when they hit the sort of the last 10 to 12 games. 
they're going to struggle. They hit the last 10 to 12 games and been flawless. Now he said, oh, but those last six games are even harder. It's like he continues to like move the goalposts around what he said, rather than just saying, you know what? I didn't think Arsenal would still be here at this stage. Fair play to them. And I don't like that kind of thing. I don't like our Arsenal being played down, especially by the same people that The best stay. way to kill it, the best way to kill it for an Arsenal fan is this. At the end of the season, when match of the day goes off on the Saturday night for the last time, if it's got a picture of Arsenal lifting the Premier League trophy with red and white ribbons on, it kills everybody else's argument, Stone Dead, because that is on there for another fucking year. Yeah. So I think to myself, anyone chat shit, just say, match of the day, fast forward it to the end, yeah, and see who's lifting the trophy at the end. And at the end of the day, Arsenal, what they're doing is, is, is brilliant. Nobody expected it. Nobody, even their own fans didn't expect it. And everyone thought it was going to tail off and, and you've got to give them massive credit. And, and I'm giving them credit for being ahead of us. And we've not had the best season. We had a bit of a dip, but we're having a good spell now. And like you say, they've got it all to do. We're on the tails. And ignore the media, ignore the pundits. Like you say, they're changing their mind. Even Wayne Rooney said something about Man City was going to catch him. Then the other day he said he can't, he can't see anyone catching him. So they're all a bit mad, in it? And then so there's misquotes. But Arsenal fans have got to concentrate on Arsenal. And City fans are concentrating on City. And that's all that matters.